So you're going to need a pot, measuring spoons, a tea strainer. I got mine at my local health food store. You could get yours um, there or a tea house or online. They're really cheap on eBay. A glass measuring cup. Make sure that it's not made from plastic. I'm using a glass container to store the massage oil in after I'm done. And you're going to need mint and rosemary tea. Links in the description of where I got mine. They're kind of hard to find, so I try to make it easy for you guys to find. And of course, coconut oil. One of my favorite things for my hair and my scalp. So let's get started. So you're gonna need eight tablespoons of coconut oil. It's a hot day, so my coconut oil was already melted, but coconut oil is also, um, can also solidify, so on colder days, you'll still need eight tablespoons either way, whether it's solid or liquid. And coconut oil helps get rid of dandruff and other scalp conditions naturally. And so now I'm gonna empty the tea bags into my tea strainer. You're gonna need one mint tea bag and one rosemary tea bag emptied out into the tea strainer. And a quick tip if you're using loose tea, one tea bag is the same equivalent of about a half a tablespoon. So the mint tea will help stimulate your scalp, promote hair growth, boost blood flow, and help get rid of dandruff. And the rosemary tea will help get, also get rid of dandruff due to its antibacterial, antifungal properties. It promotes faster hair growth and all over the scalp helps the condition of the scalp and the life of your hair. It's just really, really great for the scalp and hair. This is a great massage oil that we're making, you guys. I'm so excited. On low to medium heat, you're gonna place a little bit of water in the pot. Um, what I did, this is optional, I'm putting a little bit of a circular mason jar lid at the bottom of the pot because I don't want the measuring cup to touch the bottom of the pot. I don't want it to get too hot. I'm trying to create a double boiler type of thing, but I don't have a double boiler, so this is just how I'm doing it. So I'm filling the rest of the water up until the water comes close to the same level as the coconut oil in the measuring cup. So make sure you don't put any water into the measuring cup and then you're gonna add the tea strainer and the tea inside of the measuring cup with the oil in it. And you're gonna leave it for about 15 minutes, again on low to medium heat. And bam, magic, magic of video, it's done. And you got infused coconut oil for scalp massage, but first you're gonna let it cool And then you're just gonna pour. So I always get my decorating decor for my DIY hair treatments at Michael's Craft Store. And I just go find stickers and ribbons and labeling products. It's always important to label your DIY hair, hair care products because you want to make sure that nobody drinks it, eats it, and you don't want to forget what you made. Otherwise, you'll, ju you'll just toss it out and throw it away because you, you'll forget. So it's always important to label your items. And it's also a really cute idea when you give as a gift. It's just adorable. If you have better writing than me, that's even better. <laughs> so, 
Also, I wanna let you guys know that this never expires. So this particular DIY hair care product will last forever. So that's awesome. So you're definitely gonna save tons of money with this one. And also, I wanna let you guys know, please subscribe if you haven't already, because in my next video, I'm gonna share with you guys my, my best scalp massage techniques and I know they'll be very useful and relaxing for you guys so I hope you guys will subscribe and stay tuned for that video in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye.